organization. For him, it was time for the racially oppressed black majority to rise up and rid themselves of white oppression and take control of this country. According to Bedwood, the white people are the oppressors. This is a black man's country, and the black man must rule it. Every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Yes, they are not planted. Yes, the whites are not planted, they shall be rooted up. They shall be cleared away. And I tell you the time is coming when they shall be cleared away. You do not know how the black people are treating how the black people are treated in this country. They place heavy burdens on black people. But I tell you, he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. The time for the black man is close at hand. Bedwood's legacy must be seen in the development of racial awareness, racial consciousness, and political mobilization in the Jamaican society. He introduced new levels of organization and new symbols of unity and power among the black lower classes in Jamaica. As an indigenous response to the colonial situation, he represented a real force of change. Of course, Bedwardism, like most other liberation movements of the time, failed to accomplish its immediate goal because it was defeated by the powerful arm of the state. The activities of Alexander Bedward, however, undoubtedly paved the way for other black nationalists. Of these, Marcus Garvey and the UNIA, and later the Rastafarian movement. Undoubtedly, Bedward's activities form part of the wider liberation struggle among peoples of African and Asian and Latin American descent against colonialism and imperialism during the 19th and 20th centuries. Thank you very much. Thank you, you know, to take the time to come and read the paper for us. And I hope that this will elicit some, um, some, um, some questions amongst you. I don't know if anybody has a one or two very quick ones. What I would like to do after the questions are answered is to ask my friends on the bed with that you could see us in one of the old songs. I wouldn't mind. You could sing one. Yes, ma'am. I have a comment. So the color of our politicians have changed over the years. Yes, drastically. But the politics hasn't. The politics has and a lot of the things that you have read, a lot of the things that you have commented on in terms of um, the social conditions could be read for today, 2013. So it, it's um, the more it's very interesting. The more that we progress, we seem not to progress. Well, thanks for that. In it, well, you must recognize that the 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 the. the, the Bastions, well, those persons who own the mean of, means of production in Jamaica, the land, the capital, they are, if you should look at them carefully, not many of them share the same complexion as you and I do share. Um, and many of them are coming from the old gentry, the old plant, plantation class. Um, of course, others have come in and through marriage and other affiliations you find that the same group, that same small enclave, that small group still continue to control. And whether we like it or not, whether we want to believe it or not, they still tend to, because they hold the purse strings and they see themselves as the movers and shakers of whatever should happen in Jamaica, they must have their sway. And any time any government attempts at any time at all to move away from that position, then that government can be crippled. And we have experienced that in this country some years ago. But is it also true though that the consciousness about our situation, we, need I think to we come accept to that. things that this is as good as it has to be. And it don't matter who is in charge, we actually believe that this is the best we can do. And I think that that is what has to change. If this little one man could have had such a poor 33,000. I can't get a hundred people. And look at all the options that I, you know, and I think that, that that's a real marvel. How do we raise the consciousness? But we also need to recognize that 
within our society, we have left too many things to the politicians or to the leaders of this country. We do not, you know, we as Jamaicans do not take responsibility for this country. And that is what is really crippling us today, that we do not really take responsibility for our own country. However, we go abroad and we, by virtue of how we operate there, it's that if we take control of that country. Not in the negative sense, but in a positive, we work hard, we go to work in hailing snow and storm and rain and sleet and whatever. In Jamaica, if a drop of rain fall, we roll over in our bed, draw the sheet and so we can't go to work. And if you see how we vandalize our public places, you could never go anywhere else and do that. And when people go into schools and steal out things, like the, the, the bathroom fixtures, the, in their own community, then you can understand the mentality. We have, we have not been trained to own this country. And that's one of the major problems. So the more things change, not until we can take responsibility for here in Jamaica before many of the things that we see would change. Yeah, well, we have to continue the conversation. I mean, in my, my friend from the Bedwood, if they would just need us in the one, so we'll join you. Dip them bedwood, dip them. Dip them in the healing stream. Dip them bedward, dip them. Dip them in the healing stream. Dip them bedward, dip them. Dip them in the healing stream. Dip them bedward, dip them. Dip them in the healing stream. I'm sure we have learned quite a bit this morning. This is an understatement. We learned quite a lot. And I'm sure it has been food and follow to further research on this particular great man, Alexander Redwood, a man of our own soil, a pioneer in his generation, and still being able to lead generations later. We want to thank Mr. Sanchez and uh, the other gentlemen, Mr. Campbell, and the other supporters from the Bedwood uh, movement, the Bedwood community, for coming out this morning, and you yourselves. Thank you so very much for coming here this morning, and the Lord bless you.